Yang. Today I'm gonna to show you how I make the very famous Ma Po Tofu. There are different ways, but um, I'm just gonna share with you how I make it. What you need, of course, is tofu first. You can use any kind. Today I have this medium firm tofu from uh, the local grocery store here in California. A lot of them carry them. Um, you are going to need the very main ingredients is this fermented chili broad bean paste. I have this huge jar, but um, you can also find these small packages in Chinese grocery store. The next one spice is the Sichuan pepper. What I did was toast the, the pepper and grind it and then make it put, pour some hot oil in there to make it like a, a paste. Other things you would need is uh, minced garlic. That's about five, six cloves. Some green onions. And this is um, grounded pork. I cooked it with um, soy sauce and sugar. I'll have another um, video on how to make these. But pretty much you can use ground pork, ground beef, or ground chicken. Any meat is fine. And here I have about two teaspoons of cornstarch. Now, um, also um, chicken broth. I open the can on both sides so you can, it's easy to pour. What I do first, oh well, okay, here's your oil, soy sauce, and salt. That's about uh, one tablespoonful maybe one and a half of the um, board um, broad bean paste here what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the tofu in half horizontally and then basically about um, almost an inch cubes It doesn't really matter, um, but when it's smaller, it, the taste goes in better. All right, I'm. I have my fire on high. I'm gonna pour about one tablespoonful of oil in the pan. And I'm gonna add my broad bean chili paste and my garlic in there. Let it saute a little bit so that the flavor comes out. And then I'll add tofu in there. I can smell the um, spice coming out uh, in the tofu. Spread it out. Tofu are very bland, so I usually add a bit of salt and also about a tablespoonful of soy sauce and about half a can of chicken broth Let it cover and cook it on high till it starts to boil. Then I'm gonna to um, cook it on medium for about five minutes or so. 
In the meantime, while the tofu is being cooked, I'm going to add about a cup of water to my dried to my dry um, cornstarch, and I will make sure it's stir it so that it's completely dissolved, and I'll set it aside. Well, the, the tofu is now boiling on high. I'm turning the heat down to medium. And stir it a little bit so that tofu is rolled in the spice. At this point, I'm going to add my ground meat in there and cook together with the tofu. I'm adding just a heap tablespoonful, but it doesn't really matter. And I'll let it cover and simmer for about another five minutes. All right, the tofu has been simmering for about five minutes. I'm gonna add some green onions. Depending on how much you really like. And the starch with water. This is to make sure the sauce get on the tofu because the tofu tends to be bland. Looks like I have a little bit too much today. I'm adding a half to it and turn it on. Turn the fire on a bit higher. Now you can see the sauce start to thicken and it's getting on tofu, very nice. Now it's, once it starts to boil, it's pretty much done and at this point I'm going to add a teaspoon of my Sichuan pepper paste in there. And just mix it up and we got our mapo tofu tonight If you 